think we are all concerned uh, about the spate of suicides that we've heard about. Um, universities are normally a reflection of the community because we have people from all over who are on our campuses. Um, what we are trying to do is hopefully sometime next week um, have a town hall meeting with all our students, um, invite some mental health experts on the campus, um, and just have a discussion about um, the importance of self um, and share with our students the importance of reaching out to people when they are really concerned or when they have terrible situations happening to them. I, I think sometimes, I'm not a mental health expert, but I think sometimes many of these um, individuals that resort to action like this feel isolated. And so I think in a university like ours, our job is to make sure that everybody feels like they're part of the family. Um, so uh, the good thing is we have a lot of faculty members, staff members who are very close to the students. And um, so anybody who gives us an early alert of somebody who might be in trouble, we can find a way to talk to the person and help them through a situation. Um, we also have some arrangements with local nearby hospitals that if we need to, we can refer the people there. But I think the most important thing is to let the students know that they are not alone in any way, shape or form. Um, and it may be that it's happening to students, but it could be that even some of our staff and faculty members may be feeling the same way too. So I think that's a message that we have to find a way to sustain throughout the academic year and beyond so that the individuals know that there is a place to come to or that you do have friends here. So when you come on campus, even if you feel isolated outside, when you come on campus, you really have a family that you're coming to, people who take care of you, people who care about you, and then people who are interested in making sure that you make the right decisions in your life. We don't have an active counseling department, uh, which is something we need to work on. But for now, we have a director of student affairs um, who is very close to the students. And like I also mentioned, because we're a very small university, we have a very close relationship with the students. And so if any of the faculty or staff members alerts us that there's a student in difficulty, and that has happened in the past, um, we've been able to reach out to the person and. Um, and help in any way that we can. As an institution, we have a responsibility to sensitize and um, provide further information to our students. The problem, I think, is people who feel lonely, people who are isolated, who are in these kinds of situations, rarely speak about it. And I'm only saying that because in many instances, everybody seems to be really shocked that this happened. You know, So there seems to be, although they are surrounded by people, there seems to be a disconnect between how they are truly and really feeling and the people around them. Um, so our goal is to make sure that we are creating an enabling environment, ones where people feel comfortable enough to come out and talk to us about what they are going through. So that's our job. We haven't really had um, any feedback from the students that, oh, guys, we need to do something about this. But like I said, as an institution, we need to be more proactive. So we're taking a strong stand in light of all the things that have happened. Mm -hmm.